the start of a new year means the start of a new budget and we have a lot of budget changes coming this new year. So here is our January 2023 budget with me. Hey guys, I'm Marissa and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry that this video did not come out last week. As you may tell, I have been getting over a sickness and I lost my voice for most of the week. It's starting to come back finally. So sitting down to film this video now on New Year's Eve. But I hope you guys had a great holiday and I'm excited to share our budget with you here. If you are new to my channel, I love to share about budgeting and family finance and how you can enjoy life and accomplish financial goals through the use of a budget. If you wanna get started with budgeting, I have a course called Budget to Your Dream Life, which will walk you through everything you need to know about creating and optimizing a budget that'll fit your lifestyle and your goals so you can work towards paying off debt building your emergency fund and also enjoying life along the way so i will leave a link to that course in the description box down below and you can check that out there my family lives in portland oregon area we have two kids a two and a half year old and a six month old both boys and here is how we are planning to spend our money this month so the first thing I want to note here is this budget template. I do have this available for sale as well on my Etsy shop. I will leave a link to that in the description box below as well. This is included in the budget course that I mentioned earlier. So you can get that in um, with the course purchase. But um, here's a look at our budget template. The first thing that we have is our income, my husband, Jacob, and my income. So if you've been around since no October, November, then you know that my husband actually was part of a mass layoff, unfortunately, at the end of October. Um, he was unemployed for the month of November. He thankfully got a new job mid-December. And this job is still remote, working from home, which is wonderful. Um, it is a tiny little bit of a pay decrease, so that is reflected in our budget as well um, but we're just really grateful that he has a job and that that season was so short but that being said it really put a lot of things in perspective for us we have an emergency fund which you know we'll talk about as we go through this budget but we want to be able to increase that even more just because of what we experienced we're like you know what we want to have this like really solid so we don't ever have to like worry um during that time of being unemployed we never had to dip into the emergency fund at all because we were able to trim back on so many things in our budget but we want to be prepared if something like that were to happen again or any other life event that you would need an emergency fund for anyway so you'll see that later on just to give a little um heads up but uh, my husband does bring in an income now because he's officially full-time so there's that in the budget line item and then my income I have my business here on YouTube and social media so I do pay myself a salary out of that so that's what you would see here in the budget I have this blocked out for privacy though so next we have his total income which is 7868 this is all of our income after taxes insurance 401k HSA dependent care FSA all of the deductions out of my husband's paycheck so that's the total there okay next we have is all of our expense section so we first off have our tithe this is what we give to our church and african new life we sponsor two children in rwanda through african new life i can't remember if i've shared the update here on youtube but when my husband was laid off the african new life was one thing that we paused because we you know had to cut like anything that wasn't a bare necessity that we needed to take care of ourselves um and the awesome part of this was that I shared about it publicly and someone from our church actually reached out to me and I, I we go to like a larger church and I didn't know her personally, but she reached out and she was like, I would love to pick up and sponsor your kids for like this season, um, however long that'll be, which was the absolute sweetest thing. So our kids did get picked up by her and um, she sponsored them for a month and then we were able to take over the sponsorship again. So we still do have our same sponsor kids and I'm so grateful for that and so grateful for um, this woman from our church who, who did that and um, did that for our sponsor kids and for us that we can now still keep up with that relationship with them so um we do sponsor two children there and i'm excited that we still get to have that next we have is our mortgage which is two thousand two hundred and six dollars and 28 cents and this is made up of principal interest taxes and insurance we have a four bedroom home here in portland area and we bought in september 2019 so um it's a great little home for us here Next we have is our HOA, which is 121.46 each month. Then we have water sewer. Um, it's I just copied over like the last month, but it's it's about like 95 each month for water. And then we have natural gas. I have budgeted 40, and you know what? I'm gonna switch this. I'm gonna make this 70 because natural gas is what we use to heat our home, and obviously as we're in the winter months, that's going to be more expensive. 
Um, this month is not a trash month. We pay our trash every other month, so it's not this month. Electric, I'm gonna bring down to more like 40. I'm just gonna switch those um, because electric is going to just be the lights that we have on in our home. This is flip-flopped when it's the summertime because we have our air conditioner, our central air, and so our electric will be higher and our natural gas will be lower. And so we've noticed that throughout the year, between the two of them, it's actually pretty consistent. Um, Portland, Oregon is typically a pretty mild climate. We don't have um, really cold, cold weather typically or super hot weather typically. So um, the our costs there have been pretty steady. And also I think that our electric is really cheap compared to what it is in a lot of other places of the country. Next we have is our phones at 115 each month. And then we have our insurance at 109.69 this month for our cars. Next we have is life insurance, 52.89. We have a policy on myself and my husband Jacob, a term life insurance policy. Next we have is groceries at 450. So this is for our family of four. Um, our little guy, Jack, who is six months, just started doing solids. So you know what, second time mom, I'm doing the whole pre-made solids route the purees and that's that's so great it's great so i have been buying those for him um and then the rest of us obviously eat um one thing that i will note that you don't see here is that we do hello fresh i've been doing it now for a year and i can't say enough good things about it we've we've loved it i've learned how to cook more we've been eating a lot more vegetables eating healthier we've had more variety in our diet we've really enjoyed hello fresh and so with that, I've been sharing about HelloFresh here on my channel. And if you use my link to HelloFresh, I will leave a link to it down below if you want to check it out. But you can get $150 off to start, which is awesome. And then I get a $10 credit, which is minimal, but it's all added up over time. So thank you to anyone who's used my HelloFresh um, credit. But I've built up credits that I've, I've been able to have free meals with HelloFresh. So we are carrying that along. Um, I've done a video on it. I'll leave a link to it up above, um, kind of breaking down the cost. But with the cost of groceries right now, HelloFresh is very comparable to the cost, um, especially if you are more prone to like eating out do HelloFresh, it's going to save you, it's good, that that right there is going to save you so much money. And if you typically do cook at home, I think that HelloFresh may be very comparable, um, depending on where you live with grocery prices. So I would highly recommend it. You can check it out with the link um, down below. And so that is why our groceries are a little bit less. I would say maybe it would be more like 600. Yeah, it'd be maybe closer to like 600 a month um, if we weren't doing HelloFresh there. Next we have is eating out. I have budgeted at 150 because we have a two year old and a baby. We do not go out to eat, but this is like takeout for us right now in this season. Next we have is gas at 150. You know what? I'm gonna bring this down to 100 because gas prices have been going down. And since we're both working from home, we don't have to go a whole lot of places, which is nice. Next we have is fun, budgeted at 50. It's kind of like fun entertainment for our family. I'm not sure if we'll have much of that in January. January is always such a rough month for me here in the Pacific Northwest. Basically until we get to like mid-March, it's just like survival mode here with the, the rain and the cold and the stormy weather and the short days, like all of it just gets to me after so long. But I don't know if there will be a whole lot of fun things that we can go do in the month of January here. Next we have is miscellaneous. I have it 100 and this is just for other random things that come up during the month, you always need a miscellaneous category. Next we have is Peter's school. My son Peter does go to little preschool two days a week, but we just have that blocked out for privacy. The next thing we have is our Roth IRA. I'd love to put money to the Roth IRA, but like I mentioned earlier and you'll see, our big goal right now is to increase our emergency fund more. So once we get to that point, then we'll put more to our Roth IRA. Um, the Roth IRA max this year is 6,500 per person. And right now we haven't finished our 2022 Roth IRA. Um, I would love to max that out and you have until tax day 2023 to contribute to your 2022 Roth IRA. So maybe we'll get to finish that out before um, tax time comes around. Um, but I have this line item here for money to go to our Roth IRA, but we're not putting to it at the moment. Next we have is college. We are putting $100 each to each boy's 529 right now. We have decreased this. We were putting 200 to each boy's 529, but again, we're just really wanting to focus on that emergency fund and also our own investing goals and saving for retirement is going to be more important than our kids' future college 529 stuff. Um, I love the analogy of when you're on the airplane and the oxygen mask comes down, you put it on yourself before you help someone else. It's the same thing with your financial goals. You need to work on paying off debt, having an emergency fund, saving for retirement before you work on saving for your kid's college because they have more time to figure all of that out 
they have other options they can go with if they don't have money saved for college. You do not if you get to retirement age and you don't have retirement and you don't want to be a burden on your own kids. So that is why, you know, we're putting something there and I'm proud of us for even doing that. Um, but it's, it's minimal right now as we're working on our other goals and that's totally fine. So next we have is our grand total of expenses, 4901.91. So this is all money that's going out of our household. And I know that um, like college investment, obviously that's more of an investment, but this is something that's like, I'm not keeping track of. This is money that's going out of my bank account each month. Next we have is the sinking fund section of our budget, the sinking fund savings. So like I said, emergency fund, that's been the big thing. Um, a great rule of thumb is to have three to six months of necessary expenses saved in your emergency fund. When my husband lost his job, we are more at the three to four month range. I wanna get that up to six months. So we are putting everything extra in there right now to be able to increase that. So this month I have budgeted 1876.09 to go to that emergency fund. Now I do have the beginning and ending balances here blocked out. Um, this is something that I'm just keeping private so that I don't have to tell the whole world how much we have in all of our bank accounts. So um, yeah, that's just something that I have blocked out for privacy. Next we have is Jacob. Um, Jacob is now getting 200 of personal spending and I'm getting 75. He used to get 250 and I used to get 100. Um, the only reason why it's different is because Jacob's more of a spender and that is fine by me to have him have more money to spend. Um, and I just don't really spend a whole lot of money. I would rather more money go to our financial goals and I'm just not spending all that money. So um, we did decrease this a little bit. Like I said, my husband's job does pay a little bit less. So that was a factor there. And again, we're also just really wanting to focus on that emergency fund right now. Next we have his extra giving at $50 each month, which allows us to be able to say yes to additional giving opportunities if they come up. So I love having this as a singing fund because it can just build up over time. And if something bigger comes up later, then we can use it then. Next we have is gifts clothing, vacation, or, and wedding. My sister is getting married in April, so we're making like a trip out of it, going down for the wedding, and then I'm a my, maid of honor, so I have to have the expenses there. Um, and then Christmas. So we're not putting money into any of these things right now, just because, again, we're focusing so heavily on that um, emergency fund. These are all fun, great things, but um, we're not gonna worry about funding them at the moment. Next thing we have is medical. So we're putting 365 to our medical fund. What we've decided to do is take the deductible for our health insurance plan, divide it out by 12 and save that each month so that we have money set aside for medical related costs. We are on a high deductible plan. So we know we need to cover our deductible before insurance even kicks in. And this way it just gives us more of the permission and freedom to like spend money on medical things and have it not feel like a, a burden. Because we have little kids, we will spend money on going to the doctor and all of those fun kinds of things. And we just wanna have money set aside for that uh, so that we don't have to stress about it. Next we have is dues and subs, car maintenance and house maintenance. Um, all of these things are things that are going to come up, but I'm not saving for them specifically for the month. Um, I will just cash flow them if needed right now because again, we're trying to work on that emergency fund for now. So uh, these are great things to save up for, but I love using singing funds once you have like a really great established emergency fund. So I'm gonna finish the emergency fund, then we can go back to um, adding in these singing funds. And if we have some kind of large like house or car maintenance thing that we need to do in the meantime, obviously we have our emergency fund and we can use that to cover the cost if we needed to, but otherwise I would love to just cash flow it. So. Like let's say that we had a house maintenance thing come up that was $1,000. Okay, well I have 1,800 going to the emergency fund. So instead I would put 800 to the emergency fund and then $1,000 to cover that house repair, if that makes sense. Okay, next we have is household. This is for things like toilet paper, paper towels, detergent, all those kinds of things. Lots of Costco things. Um, we have $100 budgeted here. We spent a lot in household in December, which you'll see coming up here in my budget recap video. Um, but Costco is running their sale right now on Charmin, on a whole bunch of other stuff. And so we like, we stocked up on the things that we needed then. Um, so yeah, $100 is what we budget there. Next we have is kids, $250 a month for them, for things like diapers, toys, clothing, anything related to kid related stuff will go here. So one thing I wanna note before I, 
close out the budget or like prepare it is that I have a difference here um, because we made some mid budget updates. I have this cell that calculates the difference, which should be zero between our income and our expenses and savings. We don't have any other debt besides our mortgage. We did pay off $87,000 of debt um, a few years ago, or now several years, one, 2017 is when we paid all of that off. Um, but we just have our expenses and savings. So the difference is $50. So I have $50 left to allocate because the emergency fund is our big goal. I'm gonna put that there. So we'll now put 1926.09 to the emergency fund this month and that'll be some great progress. So here you can see our total out is 78.68 and this calculates that difference from our income. And it looks like we have a zero base budget where every single dollar has been assigned a place. So that is a look at our budget for January 2023. Let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to for this next year. And also don't forget to check out my course budget to your dream life and this budget template I will have linked in the description box down below. It's a great time to have a fresh start for a new year and I'm super excited about that for us and for you guys as well. And with that, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. Life is a winding road, no telling.